What up, everybody? So, I guess this means this is my review of the Fineco. 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 I know it's one of those. So, excuse me, company. I like you. You're a great company. Uh, we'll go with Fineco. So, that's what I hear people saying. So this is my review of the Fineco FX7CI Wi-Fi FPV Quad. Uh, right off, right from the top, right off the bat, this thing is awesome. This thing is all the way awesome. You know, as Frequent Flyer would say, this thing is all the way awesome. This is a, a fairly large quad. And they have the uh, X6 Phantom by Yifei here. Um, give you a perspective there. It's quite a bit bigger. This is about the size of the X5C. Um, and you can see that it's pretty much dwarfed by the FX7CI. Uh, this thing is large and in charge. Um, so. I, I it, it is really hard to pick apart this quad. I absolutely love this thing. It is it, it's in my top three quads now. Uh, this thing is awesome. Uh, if you haven't noticed by my barrage of flight videos of this, all I, I just want to fly this. I want to I want to fly it and film it and laugh and uh, this thing's awesome. Uh, so let's talk about the bad and really the only bad I can uh, maybe two things I can say is that uh, the yaw is not fast enough uh, it does it has two yaws uh, two yaw <laughs> two yaw rates it has a high and low rate and the yaw does change the yaw and high is is still pretty slow um, so I, I wish that was different. I, I know that other people that if you pick this up, you'll wish the same. Uh, that being said, the pitch and high on this is very deep. And if you combine um, the pitch with your turn, if you do a funnel type turn, it, it is pretty quick in the turns. It, it will change direction fairly fast for um, such a slow yaw. It, it's also very powerful. It has really big uh, motors in it. I think they're the same motors as the Cymet X8 or the or the Tarantula. They're kind of odd shaped. They're big. Um, this thing has plenty of power. So in the turns, if you hit the throttle hard, it it'll turn. It'll trust me. It'll turn. Um, this thing is loud, I, and I'm gonna list that as a kind of bad because it might be bad for some of you. You might not like loud quads. Uh, I happen to like it. <laughs> I think it's awesome. It just sounds so powerful and badass when it's flying. So, you know, some of you might not like that. I I like it. Um, the only other bad that I can really say is this transmitter is not. Uh, it's not great. It's not bad, but uh, it's not very precise, especially in, I mean, you can, I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to focus. It, it, it doesn't, it's, it's hard to get it perfectly forward or back. It always kind of, I find myself, you know, a little bit left or right, a tenden, tendency to left almost seems like it's out of line maybe if I took this apart or something and realigned it but um, that I I find myself going up and left when I'm really just trying to go forward so um, that's not you know super great that's about all like bad I can say about this uh, quad this thing, <laughs> this thing is awesome it is so much fun to fly it's so powerful um, I guess maybe the battery might be a bad thing, I, and I only say that because I don't I don't have any more of these batteries. <laughs> I only have this one, and I wish I, I guess I need to order some more. You know, 
quads that I get that I have a whole bunch of batteries for already, I tend to, you know, be pretty stoked on that because then I have a whole bunch. I don't have to constantly charge and monitor this, but uh, this, it has a 7.4 volt, two cell, 1000 milliamp hour battery. And, you know, if you want more flight time, you're going to have to get another one unless you have some of these. I mean, I guess some of you probably do, but I don't. So, um, you, you get about seven minutes, six or seven minutes of flight time with this. Uh, the way I fly, I think if you left it on low and we're doing some of the first person camera, you probably get maybe eight or nine, maybe. Uh, I get about six or seven flying in high fairly aggressively and uh, you know I, I wish it was more this takes about an hour to charge it does come with uh, European uh, plug style so you need to have an adapter it doesn't come with an adapter um, charging it with this takes about an hour um, so yeah that's the battery um, so that's that's about all bad I can say the the camera, you can get one of these without a camera. Um, they come in both versions. Uh, the camera is right, here's the landing feet. So the camera is right here, and I believe it's a two megapixel camera, and it's it actually points pretty straight. It doesn't have too much of a downward angle when it's on. It's easily removable, as you can see. The Wi-Fi is okay. Uh, most of the Wi-Fi FPVs are just not great. The transmission kind of cuts out a little bit. Um, you know, during flight, it, to make it full FPV, you want to fly through doors and stuff. This probably isn't going to work because of the delay, but this one has less delay than any of the other ones that I've tested. So I will say that it has less delay. Um, the picture quality is all right. It's not bad. It's not, you know, great. But if you're going to use this for a camera quad and you want to line up shots or you want to make sure you're in the right position to start video and everything and you can glance down at the screen and make sure it works great for that. Um, works great for that. There's no SD card. Uh, the slot is actually just, uh, I don't, it's nothing. There's a slot there, but it's like fake. You, there, it's like a hole. So don't put an SD card in there or you'll just lose it in the camera body. Um, you record everything to your phone or device that you're going to be using, um, which goes right here on top of the transmitter, just like in the photo there. And you download an app. It comes with um, instructions on getting the app in both the Android App Store and the iPhone App Store. So you can use either one and it, it works okay. Like I said, it works really good for lining up shots and taking photos, making sure you got the right, you know, angle. Um, for first person view flying, like if you want to sit in another room and fly it, not really going to work, going to crash. Uh, the delay is just a little too much for that kind of flying. Um, so here's the transmitter and it's a little, it's a little, uh, a little, I don't know what that was. It's a little kind of funky. It's not bad. It's a hobby style transmitter. It's maybe just a little bit smaller than most of the other hobby style transmitters. But one thing that it has going for it is that it's hot. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um, these are all real buttons. So, you know, you can start and stop video and take photo. Wait a minute. It goes right to your phone. I'm not sure if you can. I'm not sure. I haven't used these buttons because when I used the first person view, it was all on the phone and the phone has a record and take picture button. So maybe it does both. Sorry, I, I, I thought those were fake kind of. Um, it does have headless mode and return to home. Uh, oddly enough, the return to home works pretty good. Uh, it actually comes back towards me no matter which direction it's facing in the test that I did, it actually came back towards the transmitter. So that's pretty awesome. Most uh, return to homes that I have, you hit it and it just flies backwards really fast. Uh, 
This one actually kind of came to the transmitter. I was kind of surprised, kind of surprised about it. So it does work pretty good. Uh, headless is the same as all the rest of the toy quads. It works pretty good for a little while. It works real good for a little while and then gradually loses its bearing and kind of drifts. But it will get you out of a jam if you're up high or something like that. You can switch into it and um, that, that does work. Uh, these are fake trim buttons down here. The only real trim you have is here for, um, it's kind of weird, but because this is the rate button. So this is how you change rates. And uh, it has two rates, one yaw, or no, two yaws. It has changeable yaw, but uh, two rates and the yaw and low rate is pretty slow. Um, I, if I can remember, I only fly this in high, so it's, sometimes I forget the yaw rates and stuff, but when I take you outside, you'll see them. Um, this is the flip function. You click in and give input, and it does really nice big looping flips. They're, they're awesome. Love the way this thing flips in forward flight especially. It's really awesome. Never, uh, it's got about an 80 meter range. I've never had any range issues. I don't usually fly it out of that range. So uh, I've never encountered any issues. It has a Chinese and English instruction manual and it's a little tiny pamphlet. Everything is in here. Uh, it's just a little hard to read. Um, but you can answer most of your questions with it. it. It's an okay manual. Not the best, but it's okay. Uh, so... It does come with the landing feet too, um, and the camera and some screws. Oh, it does come with a, a set of a full set of prop guards, like on the photo there, and they're real nice, big, tough prop guards. As always, if you're a beginner, I don't know if maybe this is the best quad for beginners, but if you are a beginner and you got this, make sure you put the prop guards on. This thing is a little powerful and. Uh, you know, I, I feel like if it hit you in the face, it would do some damage. So maybe use those prop guards. Uh, advanced flyers, don't even bother taking them out of the box. They're still taped up. Same with the full set of spare props. They're still taped up in the box. That's why you don't see them here. But you do get a full set of spare props, two white and two blue. Um, so this thing is awesome. I mean, this thing is awesome. And it's got a deep pitch and high it pitches about like that, you know, it's pretty deep. So it, it, when you're given full throttle, it's going to come down a bit because it's pitched so deep, but you know, it's manageable and awesome in every way. It lights up very well. It's a white bodied, uh, quad. So it does the whole thing glows. This is definitely a night flyer. I'm going to have some night flight footage of it soon. I've just been, uh, flying it as much as I can because it's so much fun. This thing is awesome, guys. Uh, it's very tough and very durable. It's not quite as heavy as it looks, but it does have some heft to it. But it's very durable and uh, it seems very well constructed to me. I mean, it feels real nice. It doesn't feel cheap at all. Um, the props aren't free spinning. They have their little clicks. Um, that's not a bad motor. That's the way the props are. Um, so in case you get it and you just spin it, you're like, what the hell? That's that's the way they are. Um, uh, you know, I'm going on and on about this one. Uh, so I'm going to cut short and we'll go outside and look at the yaw and the pitch and the flips and do a bit of flying with it out here in the lane. And uh, I love this thing. I do recommend this quad. I really do. It's it's awesome. So let's go check out the flight demo real quick and uh, call this a review. Hey everybody, so this is the flight demo of the Fineco FX7CI. I don't have the camera or the landing feet on and stripped it down. It's just going to be for flight performance so you can see the pitch and the yaw. A little bit of flying. Um, you can recalibrate it by once you bind it push the right stick up and do a complete 360 and the lights will flash on it and you'll know it's ready to go. 
This has two rates and I believe only one yaw and maybe it is two yaws, but we'll find out here in a second. So this is low rate. Sorry, I'm trying to get it all adjusted here. So there's the yaw. That's, I, I believe that's the only yaw it has. So we'll see. There's the yaw again. That's in low. And if you can't hear me, it's because the quad is loud. All right, here's the pitch in low. Pitch the pitch and roll here. So not a lot of pitch and low. Almost seems like a forward and back pitch. Might be a little deeper. Oh, the, the roll, the pitch and roll here. Anyway, so that's in low rates. Not too much of a pitch there. So, all right. So now it's in high. So. Here's the yaw, looks the same to me. Right, there's the yaw. And here's the pitch. Whoa. So you get a lot of pitch in high. It's pitching a little less when I'm going right with it because that's where the wind's blowing. Yeah, that's all wind just moving it down, so. But you get a lot of pitch on high. This thing will get going fast. <laughs> I love this thing. All right, let's check out the flips real quick. Those really nice flips for a big quad. Uh, the forward flight, it flips awesome. Uh, in forward flight, this thing flips so good. Keeps its speed out of the flip. All right. So this is still on high rates. See the pitch. And you're flying it around. <laughs> this thing is awesome. <laughs> so this thing is very fast. Uh, really powerful. Really, really fun. This is one of my favorite flyers. Now, I, I love this thing so much. It, it doesn't turn super fast, but the pitch definitely helps it turn faster than it would without it. <laughs> oh, all right. I think that's good enough. You guys, I have so many videos of this one. I have so many videos of this one already uh, posted and you guys should check those out for, you know, a lot more fast flying. Um, this thing is awesome. This is from UTO. They, the, I don't know how this one got slept on so long. This is the Fineco FX7CI, and this thing is all the way awesome. Thanks, guys. Uh, Gesundheit?